Okay, so today I'm going to take a quick departure from the Counter-Strike Global Offensive Server setup, um, primarily because I was going to show someone how to set up a very basic um, HTTP server. So um, it should only take a couple minutes, but I'll go ahead and get started right now. Um, basically, there's a, a few things you want to do. Uh, right up here, you're going to note I have laid out an agenda. Um, first, we want to install the web server, enable the firewall, then allow traffic through port 80, and then just want to kind of show you where you're going to do all the modifications for these files in general. So it should be real quick, real easy. <clears throat> okay, so the first things first. Uh, right now we're working in... Um, uh, we're working in uh, Ubuntu Linux. Uh, this is specifically uh, GNOME Ubuntu. Um, and... Um, this is our kernel version right here. Um, but that really shouldn't make a big difference. The um, thing is that when you are going to go ahead and do all these installations and use uh, the firewall manipulation uh, program, UFW, if you are on a different distribution, uh, for example, one of the Red Hat based dis distributions, it's not going to work out for you. Uh, they have different package management systems. Um, so when I use uh, the apt get tool to install these packages and you're on a different distribution it's not going to work out for you you should be able to pretty easily google um, equivalent packages though so I'd encourage you to do that the rest of the setup should be fairly straightforward okay so let's go ahead and get started um, again just to kinda this was our agenda right here um, First things first, we're going to go ahead and install the Apache 2 web server. So it's very simple. Invoke super user privileges because I am currently running as Steam. Steam is not root, but root needs, I need root privilege to do this installation. So sudo app git install Apache 2. If you don't remember exactly what the full name is for the package, you can give a partial name and hit tab. And you'll see it's right there, Apache 2. Let's go ahead and get going for that. Yes, let's go ahead and install. <clears throat> All right, so it's that easy. So we've already done the first part, installing the Apache 2 web server. Um, and in fact, at this point, if I were to, um, again, I tried to visit my own computer through a web browser through any one of my identifying IP addresses. So I can go uh, this, this is my um, IP address for my virtual network. This is my local IP address. Um, either one of those are gonna work just fine. So if I just type in localhost, for example, bam, right here, Apache 2 is already ready to go. I could also type, as I said, Uh, that identifying IP address 127.0.0.1 that takes me right here or the um, the virtual IP address any one of those is going to take me directly to my computer uh, to the um, to the web page hosted on this virtual computer all right now if the service was not running If I do this, it shows that Apache 2 is running. If I were to stop it, or if you didn't have it all together, this is what you might see. There's nothing there because you are requesting that my computer provide you, or resolve your um, HTTPS request, and it can't do that because the server's not running. Um, so if you do the installation and it's not working, I'd recommend that you go ahead and make sure that the status is running. Right now it says it's not running, so we're gonna start it. So I've restarted it. If I open it back up, refresh, web page loads, server's good to go. Now, there's another problem. Um, first, let's make sure our firewall is enabled. Can't type right now. 
Okay, we do have a firewall enabled. Um, I have enabled it for the purpose of uh, opening our CSGO server accounts earlier. But if I try to load a, uh, a web page from my, uh, for example, uh, from my, my host operating system, uh, technically because I, this is running as a virtual machine, that's the guest and this is the host. So if I try to visit this address in my browser from the host computer, it doesn't work. So uh, you'll notice right off the bat, that's a bit of a problem. So what are we gonna do about that? Well, it's actually easy enough, it's a simple problem. The problem is that the uh, firewall is up and it is not allowing communication. Um, the default port that HTTP wants to communicate on is port 80. So if I do sudo ufw allow 80, and I go back and look at the status again, you'll now see the 80 is added in there, both for IP version 4 and IP version 6. So I shouldn't have that same problem if I were to log in again. So let's go ahead and bring over a browser and let's navigate to this address here we go this is actually from my host computer as you can notice as the Windows taskbar popped up again it works all right, there you go. So, just a quick reminder. Um, this was our agenda. We've already done the first three things. We've installed the Apache 2 web server, which allows us to um, to appropriately respond to HTTP requests. We can serve a client's request to receive a page from us. We've enabled our firewall, though in this case the firewall is already enabled. If it wasn't enabled for you, you would just do, you know, sudo you have w enable. And then we allowed traffic on port 80 by modifying the firewall. And now just um, so you know where everything is happening, I'm going to go ahead and quickly take you to the uh, location where all the web server files are located. Okay, var www.html. This is where Apache by default stores its HTML files. If I look in here, you see a fire uh, index.html, and if I load it, there you go. At var www.index.html, it's the same page we saw earlier, this one right here. You can very easily modify this page. For example, let's go down a little ways. All right, here we are. Here's the body. Here's the header. I'm going to say All right, so I've modified this. And let's go ahead and launch our server again. Well, disappeared, I think the line was a little bit too big. So let me go ahead and shrink that down a little bit. Let's refresh. There you go. I have uh, modified that file. So then the rest of your files would go right in this directory as well, var www.html. Um, if you were, for example, to download WordPress, you can extract all the files into here. Um, there are a lot of other options you could do as well, creating symbolic links and that sort of thing. But for the most part, any um, for a single website hosted on 
a Linux server box, this is going to be your default directory where you do all your modifying of um, web files. And just one last thing, if you didn't notice, um, I had to invoke sudo to modify these files. If I look at the permissions here, this by default is a system folder. Um, index.html is owned by root. And the permissions are read write for the owner, who is root, read only for the group, that's the root group, and for the rest of the world, it still only reads. So if I tried to without invoking sudo privileges to edit that file. I can open it, but right down here gives me a warning, no write permission available. So I can't can't type anything in. I type it in, but if I press O, see error writing denied. So anything you do in here, you will need to invoke super user privileges. Okay, well, um, that is the gist of it. Uh, again, short and sweet. If you guys have any questions, let me know.